Hello and welcome to a pandemic update video for Friday, September 9th, 2022. Haven't done one of these in a while, so let's see where we stand with the data, shall we? And take a look here at the community transmission map. And things have changed up in a bit since our last video in the community transmission. Though the majority of the country is still high and substantial, uh, more counties in the country have switched over to substantial now. 84.89% make up high cases. Substantial is 9.31%. Moderate is 3.32%. And low is 2.48%. You can see in the Northeast, uh, more counties are substantial. And you can see it's a general mix in the plain central states. Uh, the Mid-Atlantic and the Southeast, still majority of the counties are in high cases. Something else that has been changing. Check this out. Variant proportions, BA.5 is 87.5% of the cases. BA.4.6, now remember this is national, now makes up 9.2% of the cases. So that's been increasing. It's almost 10%, and I suspect it probably will be 10% of the cases next week. BA.4 is 2.2%. BA.2 still exists at 1%. And the old BA.2.12.1 is hanging on by a thread at 0.1%. Take a look at today's cases. Cases are lower than they've been in the previous weeks, but I don't want you to get too fixed into that because wastewater signals are already showing rises in Northeast, like Boston and certain places. So I suspect cases will start to rise again soon, especially as uh, BA.4.6 starts to take over. I think that's going to be our next variant wave. I've been saying that for a while now. And there's still, if we go back to proportions, there's still no signs of the 2.75 variant here. We have other, I mean, it's listed, but you're not seeing any percentage of it. And, I mean, there are some 2.75 cases in the country, but it's not taken over. And meanwhile, BA.4.6 continues to rise with the highest number of those cases being over in the Iowa region. So, 62,226 new cases today. Deaths are continuing to remain high. They're trickling down a little bit, but really not all that much. 532 deaths had today. That's not good. Testing, 537,567 tests added today. Hospitalizations are at 34,864 by the BNO count. That's actually down by 578. ICUs are up slightly, 4,253, that's up by 37. Take a look at some individual states. California, check this out. California, this is a multi-day total, only had 18,508 new cases. And I'm saying the word only because, remember a month ago? That would be over 50,000 cases for a three-day total. And look how much it's come down. So that's pretty impressive. Yes, I know the at-home tests are being... Missed, but at the same time, I mean, they were at 50,000 cases just a month ago with the at-home tests being missed. That's a pretty big drop in cases, and week over week, that's down 26%. We'll have to see how long that holds. Texas, 6,045 new cases. Florida, 4,900 new cases. New York State, 4,263 new cases. Illinois, 3,310 new cases. Pennsylvania, BNO has switched to weekly updates, so that's also part of the reason why cases are lower today, and they may have done that with other states, versus just going with whatever the CDC throws out and just using the weekly state update. New Jersey, 2,495 new cases today. Tennessee, 2,277 new cases. Virginia, 3,700 new cases. Indiana, 3,000. Puerto Rico, 2,100 new cases, and we'll just skip down here to West Virginia, 2,000 new cases. Montana, 1,100 new cases. That's a weekly total, I believe. And let's see. District Columbia, 109 new cases. North Dakota, again, I think a weekly total, 963. And Maine, 275 new cases. Taking a look at the HHS hospitalizations, you will see HHS is much higher than the BNO count. And it actually rose again today. 35,578 people in the hospital for coronavirus. It has rose every day since Tuesday. And inpatient bed use in the country. Check this out. That has also ro risen this week. 
uh, was down to around 73% to start the week. It's back up to 77%. So that's telling me that maybe not all the COVID hospitalizations are being reported here. And who's to say, we don't know the accurate count, how many are in the hospital for monkeypox right now. We don't know. But 4.96%, it's saying here, are for coronavirus. Taking a look at the Walgreens National Positivity. That has been dropping, and it continues to drop. And remember, this is an indicator of when cases are going to start rising. For the majority of the country, it's dropping. But you'll see the northeastern states, including New Jersey and Pennsylvania, starting to rise. And that could be the start of the surge, which I think the next uh, wave that's coming, I think it's going to start on a regional basis. So I think first the northeast, then the Great Lakes, then the plains in the north, then, say, the second half of fall, all the southern states will start blowing up. And it may be that Florida, if you remember last year, Florida didn't have another explosion until after Thanksgiving. So that's maybe what happens there. Same thing with California. California got hit super hard. Florida got hit super hard. And Texas got hit super hard all summer. However, the northeastern states, after getting hit hard in the spring, Yes, things rose a little bit, but uh, they didn't get as hard as they could have compared to the south. And I think the northeastern states are about to come into a pretty significant coronavirus wave, which will eventually peak probably around Columbus Day weekend or somewhere in October, and then not really drop much, and then as soon as the holidays hit, right back up again to an even higher level, much like what we saw last year. And... I'm not uh, dismissing the levels right now. The levels right now are absolutely atrocious. But what I'm saying is I think we're going to see uh, the le levels come up even higher. And eventually the Great Lakes, probably as we get into the second half of September, the Great Lakes are going to really start taking off, which we have seen pretty much every year of coronavirus. October to Great In October, the Great Lakes region always rises. All right, moving back to a little more New York State data. Actually, first let's move on here to uh, Texas. Texas positivity, 19.35%, so it's actually below 20% now, and I think that's going to continue to drop to maybe at least 15%, because like I said, they got hit pretty hard all summer. And uh, they'll probably pick up the pace again maybe late October at the earliest, something like that. Eventually, they're going to pick up the pace again. But right now, I don't think they're going to. The north is where it's picking up now. And real quick, looking at Texas hospitalizations, 2,440 people in the hospital in Texas. New York State positivity. It's been higher this week on most days, 6.7% today. And uh, last week, I believe there were a couple days where it was uh, 4%. One day was like 3.9% or something like that. But every day this week, I believe, has been higher than last week. Same thing with hospitalizations. We are ending the week with 2,179 people in the hospital. I'll update one more time again tomorrow. As of right now, that is set to be higher than last week. It may drop slightly below that, but I think the writing's on the wall. New York State hospitalizations are about to start trending up week over week again. All right, international data. India, 8,100 new cases. France, 19,000 new cases. Brazil, 14,000 new cases. Italy, which was showing signs of possibly rising again, looks like they're falling a little bit again. 15,542 new cases. Russia, 52,000 new cases. Russia is actually rising, I think. Don't quote me on that. Japan, 112,404 cases. Japan's falling on cases, but 261 new deaths is bad. And if we click on total deaths, check this out. Come down here. Japan's in 26th place now. That's not good. And they're going to eventually catch up and pass Vietnam here pretty soon. And... There's also potential they could pass Canada down the line, so that's something we'll have to watch. Real quickly, monkeypox outbreak. There are now a total of 56,783 cases around the world, with a good majority of them being in the United States. The United States now has 21,000, over 21,000 monkeypox cases. Let's see here. Yeah, here we go. United States has 21,504 cases of monkeypox. I believe we added over 300-something today. Spain added 135 today. So Spain's starting to rise again. France, 139 new cases added. France is starting to rise again. So uh, early indications are a second wave of monkeypox might be setting in over in 
Europe, which, as you know, we lag Europe by a few weeks, so in a couple weeks. That could be what we start seeing here, where we start seeing cases rise again. We'll have to watch out for that. All right, that's all I have for today. I know this is a bit longer video than normal, but I do want to add one final note for those who have lasted this long. I am going to be doing another Spaces on Sunday evening at 8 p.m. Clear your schedule. We're doing another Spaces. You can watch your football all day. If you're 8 o'clock team, that's you. Oh, well, we're doing a Spaces. And it's basically going to cover all the viruses. Uh, we're even going to mention polio, monkeypox, coronavirus, that episode of a mysterious virus over there in Argentina. We're going to talk about all that and just try and make sense of it all. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Stay safe, everyone. And remember to hit the like and subscribe button down below. Have a great night.